This May, for Stroke Awareness Month, we are bringing awareness to the importance of knowing the signs. Now, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, every 40 seconds, someone in the U.S. has a stroke, and every 3 minutes and 14 seconds, someone dies of one. While stroke risk increases with age, it can and does happen at any point in someone's life. To talk more about this important issue is Kyle McMurrow, who was just 36 years old when he had a stroke last year, and Dr. Philip Stieg, a member of Kyle's care team and chief of neurosurgery at New York Presbyterian Wild Cornell Medical Center. Good morning to you both. It's so good to see you both. And Kyle, I wanted to start with you. How did you even know you were having a stroke? Yeah, uh, I didn't at first. I had just woken up with a really bad neck pain. And uh, I just thought maybe I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Uh, headed to work like a normal day, or at least I thought it was a normal day, and I, I realized I couldn't walk a straight line. It was very weird. Uh, it felt like there was a magnet on my left hip sort of pulling me in that direction, and I got to work, and I said, you know, I'm not sick, but something's wrong. I couldn't identify it, so I left to go to my doctor. I called my girlfriend to loop her in, and she was like, no, you need to go to the hospital. You're, you're slurring your speech, and when I got there, the team uh, at New York Presbyterian identified pretty quickly I was having a stroke. Oh my goodness, I mean, just stunning to hear that. And, and doctor, we normally associate stroke with someone who might be older, but Kyle, you seem very young and energized. And tell me about that. Well, Kyle had one type of stroke called a bleeding stroke, which does happen in younger people. The more common stroke that you see is in the elderly where a blood vessel is blocked. So you underwent brain surgery and uh, plenty of rehabilitation. Can you take us through the process? I mean, what was all of that like? Yeah, it, it was very scary for a long time, just the unknown of it all, because I felt like I had lost a piece of myself. A lot had been stripped away. Uh, when Dr. Stieg and his team told me that they were able to go in and, and perform a surgery, Instead of feeling tense about the word surgery, it felt like relief because it, it really felt like the first time that I could reclaim my life in, in having that surgery and getting back to it. <sighs> Dr. Steve, I want to talk to you about the symptoms. I mean, what should people know if they're listening to this and, and, and very concerned after hearing your story? We try to educate people on just the typical symptoms. So it's B FAST, which is the common acronym that we use. And you know, B is for balance. Like he said, he had a hard time walking. E is for eyes. You know, you have blurry vision or double vision. F is for face. A is for arm. S is for speech. And he had all of those symptoms. And then T is for time, which time is brain. That's so important to know, and be fast, such a great acronym to keep in mind. Now, according to statistics, one in four stroke survivors are at risk for another. So are there ways that people can prevent that situation? There are controllable and uncontrollable things. You can't control the fact that your gender, your ethnicity, or your family history, your genes. The things you can control are your cholesterol, we have a real problem with obesity, so controlling your weight, diabetes. Uh, you can do things with exercise, you can control your diet, you can control your sleep, trying to manage stress. All of those things are important, and the happy part of it is have relationships, good dialogue, and two glasses of red wine a day. Hey, that's a good idea for everybody. <laughs> what about if someone has never had a stroke? I mean, are those the same steps that you should take to make sure you don't have one? Absolutely, yeah, and then obviously if you have a family history, you want to be aware of that. All right, and Kyle, congratulations. One year, right, since yes. this happened. Yes. And I understand that you celebrated with an unforgettable trip to? To Puerto Rico. Oh, congratulations. Yes. yes, thank you. I think everybody needs to celebrate after what you've been through. So really wonderful to talk to you. And thank you. It's just so inspiring you. to Appreciate hear your story. You. And Dr. Steeg, thank you so much for all you do for so many people.